Hallo meine lieben Zuschauer und herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Folge zu Fire Emblem Engage. Wenn euch das Video gefällt, dann lasst ein Abo und ein Like da und ich wünsche euch jetzt viel Spaß mit dem Video. Ja moin Leute und herzlich willkommen zurück zu Fire Emblem Engage. Ja, ist jetzt ein bisschen her, dass ich das hier aufgenommen habe. Ich habe meine Drogen wahr gemacht. Ich habe richtig viele hochtrainiert. Auf Stufe 18 äh, die meisten, ein paar noch nicht. Ich habe mir Ausrüstung verbessert wie sonst was. Ich habe Embleme ge Ringe gecraftet wie sonst was. Und ja, ich habe auch einige Bandgespräche freigeschaltet. Und mit einigen meine ich auch einige. Und die müsste ich jetzt erstmal abarbeiten, bevor wir mit der Nebenquest, die wir heute machen wollten, beginnen. Aber vorher, ich habe auch noch was anderes aufs Kind entdeckt. Ich hatte da vorher abgespeichert, damit wir die Sequenz äh, von Anfang an haben. Hier unten in der Höhle, da ist äh, dieser mysteriöse Altar, der mir die ganze Zeit angezeigt wird. Und hier passiert was. Guckt mal, da sitzt was. Oh my. What in the world is this creature? Eine gute Frage. Ah, so you have found it at last. Oh, Vander? What do you know about this little one? Not much, unfortunately. It began to appear shortly before you awoke from your slumber. Queen Lumera once said it is something of a guardian spirit for the Somniel. Claimed to have played with it in her youth. Oh, das Ding ist auch süß. So this creature has been alive for a very long time. You know, I do feel a sort of affinity toward it. It seems to have taken a liking to you as well, Divine One. Would it please you to care for it? Natürlich. It is truly the guardian spirit of the Somniel. Doing so may bring some manner of benefit. Oh, what a great idea. Now that I've met it, I'd like us to be friends. Let's see. Ich weiß, wie ich dich nur äh, nenne. So, hier unten sitzt jetzt Noah. Yes, I like that name. It's nice to meet you. I hope you like your new name. It looks well pleased. Don't forget to say hello to it when next you see it around. So, dieses geheimnisvolle Geschöpf wacht seit Urzeiten über das Somnier. Wenn du dich gut um Noir kümmerst, passiert vielleicht etwas ganz Wunderbares. Ich kann es füttern. Magst du Orangen? Scheinbar. Da fühlt sich jedenfalls so eine Leiste. Oh, ich kriege dafür Fragmente. Du bist doch eine Katze. Du magst doch bestimmt Lachs. Zumindest siehst du aus wie eine Katze. Dir schmeckt kein Lachs? Ich würde gerne einmal diese Leiste da voll kriegen. Ich kann dich anziehen. Ich mache gerade übrigens extra nicht den Avatar ins Bild, weil gleich wird es erstmal wahrscheinlich mindestens so 5 bis 10 Minuten Bandgespräche geben. Oh, was kann ich dir denn hier alles aufsetzen? Oh, du kriegst die Partnermähne. Und dann kriegst du doch die Flügelchen. Ja. So mag ich das. <lacht> so, und ich kann ich noch streicheln. Okay, ich mache einmal diese Leiste eben kurz voll, sofern das jetzt geht. Ja, die füllt sich, während ich das äh, Tier streiche. Äh, ihr kriegt jetzt erstmal die Bandgespräche. Und wie gesagt, das sind einige. Also stellt euch auf ein paar Minuten Bandgespräche ein. Für die, die die Bandgespräche überspringen wollen, füge ich jetzt an dieser Stelle eben kurz einen Zeitstempel ein, wo ihr dann hinspringen könnt, um die Gespräche zu überspringen. Jade, are you okay? Oh, Divine One. I heard you were attacked by bandits. I rushed here to check on you. Thank you, but I'm fine. I drove them all away. Why did they attack you like that? 
I've run into that group before. I used to be the guard for the mine near my hometown. I stopped them from looting it once. They must have tracked me down for revenge. Now? After all this time? I was pretty infamous among the bandits in our area. They used to call me the Iron Wall. Looks like I'm the target of a few deep, long-standing grudges. But it's fine. I can handle anything they throw at me. They're not much of a threat. I know you're strong, Jade, but I'm still worried. If you ever need backup, you can always count on me. I'll do whatever I can. Oh, I wouldn't want to burden you like that, Divine One. But thank you. Hey, Divine One. Good evening, Amber. Did you hear those weird sounds just now? Was that you? <laughs> sure was. I was calling out to my old alpaca friends back in my hometown. Say again? <sighs> my hometown is a quaint little alpaca hamlet. I grew up surrounded by them. Sometimes I get a little homesick and miss my fuzzy friends on the ranch. On my loneliest nights, I come out here, look up at the starry sky, and call to them. Oh... So that's what that sound was. Those were the cries of an alpaca. I'm calling out to them in their language. Their... language? I know, I know. It sounds crazy. There's no way they can hear me from so far away. But this is how I get the sads out. When I call to them, it feels like they're right by my side. I don't think that's crazy. I'm sure your feelings are getting back to them somehow, Amber. Aw, thanks, Divine One. You're so nice. Time to take a short break and get a drink of water. Ah, the Divine Dragon looks so cool drinking water! No for the fan club. The Divine Dragon loves to drink water. <sighs> hey, Fram? Can I talk to you for a minute? It's kind of important. You want to have an important conversation with me? Am I dreaming? Is this happening? No, you're not. And yes, it is. Look, I'm sorry to say this, but could you take it easy with the cheers and whatnot? Huh? I appreciate the enthusiasm, but really, you're making it hard to focus. When each battle is more difficult than the last, I can't afford to be distracted during training. <gasps> you're... you're right. I wanted to support you, but I'm just being annoying. <laughs> oh... I'm sorry. I didn't intend to... No, it's not your fault. I'm only crying because I'm so worthless. I promise to stay out of your hair from now on. Your beautiful, flowing, perfect hair! <laughs> oh, Fram. <laughs> You're so adorable when you sleep, Divine One. Uh, uh, huh? Oh, good morning. Did I wake you? Were you watching me sleep again? Yes. Sorry about that. Oh, you should just leave me be if I nod off while I'm sitting outside. It's unnerving to wake up on your own and find someone staring at you. Oh, I never meant to do that, Divine One. But you slept for a thousand years, just like a character from a fairy tale. Your sleeping form is so heavenly that I can't help staring at it. I get that. But I still must have been a ridiculous sight, sleeping here of all places. Oh no, not at all. But I have a compromise in mind. Hear me out. If I'm always there when you wake up, maybe you'll get used to it and it won't be so startling. All we'd have to do is set up an extra bed for me in your chamber. Nope, not doing that. Oh dear, shot down. Divine One, Divine One, since you appear human, I am curious. What are the differences between dragon and human? Uh, let's see. We live a bit longer than humans. We're typically stronger and more agile. You're right about appearance, though. We look much the same. Interesting. 
Oh, is it also true that you slumbered in the Somniel for 1,000 years? What was it that woke you after all that time? Did you tire of sleeping? To be honest, I'm not sure. I see. And what were you doing before you went to sleep? <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't remember much from before I woke up. <sighs> A pity. You're asking lots of questions, Kagetsu. Why are you so interested in me? Why should I not be? We are friends, of course. Friends? We've actually not spoken that much. To my mind, we have been friends ever since we first spoke. And I like to know my friends. Is it not so for you? Do you not want to be my friend? No, of course I do. Good. Then I would like to know all about you so we can strengthen our bond. So I should get comfortable and brace for more questions. Got it. <laughs> huh? What's up? You're looking at me kind of weird. Sorry. I didn't mean any offense. I just couldn't help it. Is there something wrong with how I look? Oh, no. Nothing like that. Then tell me why you're laughing already. Uh, <laughs> well, you know how you're always so confident? Huh? I was thinking about how plain it is on your face. There's confidence all over you. It's kind of inspiring to look at. Which is why you were staring. <sighs> Forgive me, Etie. If it bothers you, I'll stop. Nah, I don't mind. I'm actually a little honored to help out the Divine One. If staring at me lifts your mood, go ahead and stare all you want. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, it's a little embarrassing, but a quick jog will help get my mind off it. See you around, Divine One. I picked up the letters like you asked, Vander. Oh, yes. Set them down over there, will you? I also brought a letter opener. Thought you might need it. Very good, thank you. Clan, before I forget, will you deliver this package? Oh. Yes, sir. Answering letters. <laughs> a man of my age should put his fighting hand to nobler purposes. <sighs> Is something the matter? What? Oh, uh, no. Everything's... <laughs> Hunky dory. Well, then, why are you standing there gawking? I told you to deliver that package. Yep. Yes, sir. On with it, then. A faithful servant of the Divine Dragon wastes no time. Hmm. If you gave me some real steward work to do, maybe I'd take it more seriously. Pardon? N nothing. I'll deliver that package for you right away, sir. Hey, Vander, where do you keep the legendary weapons around here? Legendary weapons? What in the world are you talking about, Amber? I've always wanted a legendary weapon. The Somniel seems to have lots of sacred spots. One of them must have a sword or something. I do not waste my time on folklore and fluff. Oh, so that's a no? Gotcha. I guess I'll just poke around and see if I find anything. Actually, I suppose there is one surefire way to obtain a legendary weapon. Really? What is it? How can I get my hands on one? Please, Vander, you gotta tell me! Think. What is a legendary weapon, essentially? Huh? For a weapon to become a legend, a legendary hero must wield it first, right? Huh. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Well then, Sir Amber, all you must do is attain the moniker of legendary hero. A legendary hero? Me? Yeah! Yeah! If I pull that off, my trusty lance... It would become a legendary weapon, correct? Whoa! Vander, you just blew my mind! I'm gonna do exactly that! My legend starts right now. Fram! Huh? Why are you loafing about? I told you to sort through the offerings. Oops! I completely forgot. Grant me the patience. How do you manage to bungle even the smallest task? This is exactly why I fear for your future. I meant to do it, honest. It just kind of slipped my mind. You know I will not credit that excuse. Forgetting is the same as doing nothing at all. 
Imagine how disappointed your parents would be if they found out. <sighs> Fram, I have high expectations for you and your brother. You are my successors, after all. For my peace of mind, and to honor the mother and father who left you in my care, do better. Yes, sir. This is the last time I let you down, Vander. Promise. Very good. Vander, I owe you an apology. An apology? What for? I messed up big time. If I'd been quicker about getting to Lethos, I could have saved Queen Lumera. I know the Queen meant a lot to you. I'm really sorry she's gone. You are mistaken, Prince Alfred. If there is blame to cast, I bear as much as you. More, in fact, as I was her retainer. So you see, you have nothing to apologize for. But I... Without your presence, Prince Alfred, our losses may have been even greater. As I see it, I have ample reason to thank you and none to resent you. Well, if you say so, happy to help. Hey, uh, is it okay with you if I visit again? Of course. Let us share stories of happier times with Queen Lumera. Happier times, huh? Indeed. I think Queen Lumera would prefer that to brooding over our failures. Don't you? Leute, ich habe jetzt nicht alle Bandgespräche abgespielt, da wären jetzt wahrscheinlich noch so 20 gekommen. Äh, ich mache das ab sofort so, ich nehme die Bandgespräche zwischen den Folgen auf und dann seht ihr am Anfang ne, oder am Ende der Folge nochmal so 10 Bandgespräche ungefähr. Also, beziehungsweise diese Unterstützungsgespräche. Weil sonst äh, frisst das das ganze Video jetzt weg und ich bin bei mir gerade jetzt schon bei 20 Minuten. Ich weiß nicht, wie das nach dem Schnitt gerade bei dem Punkt aussieht, aber ich bin bei mir gerade wirklich bei 20 Minuten. Und wir wollen ja auch noch ein bisschen hier vom Kampf sehen. What is this place, Lucina? I feel a magical power here. This appears very similar to Arena Ferox. Most curious. Ferox? That's a place from your world, right? Yes. Ferox is a kingdom divided by east and west, with a militaristic Khan overseeing each. Every so many years, a fighting tournament is held to determine which Khan will rule them all. Arena Ferox is where I cross swords with my father. He taught you swordsmanship, yes? It must have been an interesting, if fierce bout. Yes. It was a hard fight. He had no idea who I was and held nothing back. He trained me well, but that fight was when I first saw just how strong my father really was. That must be precisely why this familiar place was chosen as a trial ground. Trial ground? What does that mean? We each feel the extraordinary power here. Tell me what it feels like deep down. It's almost like I'm sensing your power, but also like you're far away. Well then, draw your weapon. Fight me. If you pass the trial, our bond will grow stronger. With a stronger bond, you will be able to draw upon more of my power as an emblem. I hope I can learn as much in this arena as you did. That's good to hear. However, it's going to require more than hope for you to win this battle. You're going to be surprised if you think I'm only bringing hope to this fight. That's the spirit. So, kommt doch her, Leute. Ja, ich habe mir halt mittlerweile den Schnitter gegönnt, ne? Und ich habe den sogar schon aufgebessert. Also der Schnitter, der ist irre geil, das, das Schwert. Vor allen Dingen, weil das sogar das Ausweichen boostet. Oh, die kommen aus den Treppen raus. Da kommt eine Armee. Ich schicke jetzt erstmal hier meine Doppelgänger hin, weil die haben den Vorteil, die haben nur ein AP und der Kom ist darauf getrimmt, alles mit wenigster AP anzugreifen. Deswegen greifen sie immer die Dinger an. Ramme macht mittlerweile auch gut Damage. Habt ihr jetzt auf Level 18. So, ich sollte dich am besten auch schon mal ausschalten. Oh, sogar ein Crit. Perfekt. Ich liebe den Schnitter. So, dann gebe ich dir jetzt eine mit der Meisterlanze mit. Schön ist, du hast Geld bei dir, das habe ich gesehen. 
Das nehme ich sehr gerne. Lou ist eine meiner besten Einheiten. Mit Abstand. So, greif ruhig da an. Ich habe einen Tomahawk. Ein paar der Waffen habe ich auch schon veredelt. Dass sie die besseren Stufen sind. Perfekt. Brauche ich mir gar nicht angucken. Genau, greif die Doppelgänger an. Ich sage, die ziehen die Gegner magisch an. Die sind wirklich darauf programmiert, das mit der geringsten HP anzugreifen. Deswegen, diese Doppelgänger sind mega OP gegen die Bots. Okay, so vernichte ich. Hier sind halt ultra stark gegen die. So, dich vernichten wir auch sofort. So oder so tot. Du hast elf nicht, ich muss dich zuerst vernichten. Sonst würdest du Louis übelst Schaden machen. Achso, äh, Anna hat nicht mal Schaden bekommen. Hat da instant vernichtet. So, dann vernichte ich dich jetzt mal. Ich würde ja Lucina angreifen, aber ich habe das gerade einmal getestet und da stirbt äh, Chris. Genau, greif die Doppelgänger an. Was sind das jetzt für Gegner? Wolfsritter. Okay. Dann vernichte ich jetzt Lucina. Ich sagte, ich vernichte dich. Ich brauche mir die restlichen gar nicht antun. Ich kann dich einfach vernichten. You won't win just by standing there. Your stance has no openings. I don't see how I could hit you no matter where I strike. Doubt will only dull your attacks. Trust in yourself and come at me with everything. <sighs> Understood. Sleep now. Und tschüss. So strong. Easy. Und ich habe das maximale Level erreicht. In nur vier Zügen gewonnen. I lost. Your combat skills have grown admirably. Compared to when we first met, you've grown strong and become a formidable opponent. Thank you. It is in no small part because of your guidance, Lucina. Such kind words. If I helped you at all, then I couldn't be happier. There's a lesson there, you know. What one person can achieve on their own is limited. I agree. I couldn't have come this far by myself. Everything I've accomplished has been thanks to those who have fought beside me. I'm relieved to hear that. I feel my friends close by even now. Their spirits live on in me. Their spirits live on. The power of my bonds with them helped us to change a hopeless future. The same as you are now with your own allies. You are one of those allies, Lucina, aren't you? Of course. I'll fight with you until the very last. Then we can't lose. No matter what the world sends our way. You're right. Our bonds are far stronger than destiny. Äh, wir haben das Max Band Level für Lucina freigeschaltet. Danke, Lucina. So great. Ich selber habe ja jetzt das maximale Level, ne? Wie wäre es, wenn wir bei mir mal das äh, Meistersiegel verwenden? 
Wir können dann ja mal zu dieser Würmgöttin werden. Das bin ich ja gerade standardmäßig. Weil wir haben eh das maximale Level. Ich kann nicht weiter leveln. Ich nehme den Würmgott. Jetzt kann ich auch äh, mit den Fäusten kämpfen, ne? In Klassenwechsel mache ich übrigens nur dann, wenn eine Einheit Level 20 erreicht hat, weil erst da macht das Sinn. Weil dann kann ich das Maximale aus den Leuten rausholen. Da kann ich jetzt wirklich hier beispielsweise die dritte Stufe ausrüsten? Ja, kann ich. Aber es ist halt gut, wenn ich so einen äh, Magietypen vor mir habe. Dann kann ich ja. den auch selber entwaffnen. Oder äh, die mit den Bögen. Da ist das richtig gut. You're the emblem King Hyacinth once used. But now you're an ally? This is hard to accept. Until you can forgive me, Alchrist. Think of me only as an emblem, not as Lynn. You're exercising every time I lay eyes on you. What spurs you to work so hard? I could get toned, or I could lie around doing nothing. It's an easy choice. Why are you carrying so many tools, Lapis? Are you on your way to fix something? I'm patching a wall. Someone knocked a huge hole into it. Who could have been so careless? I want to get my parents something, but what? Hey, Fram! Oh, hey, Anna! What you doing? Oh, Anna is so formal. Call me Lady Anna. Oh, right. Sorry. I meant, hey, Lady Anna. Yep, there you go. So, what are you in the market for today? I'm looking for an anniversary present for my folks. Oh, you're a merchant? Do you have anything like that for sale? Fram, Fram, Fram. Of course I do. Feast your eyes. You won't find gifts cheaper or better than these anywhere. Ooh, these knickknacks are so cute. I bet this statuette would look good in their house. Tell you what, since we're friends, I'll throw in an engraving of their names for free. Hmm, that's tempting. You're pretty good at this, Lady Anna. I got separated from my family. Being on my own has really put my sales skills to the test. But look, everything I stock is rare and valuable. Your parents will love their gift, guaranteed. In that case, I think I'll get this statuette. Some engraving would make it seem extra special. Thanks for the business. I'll gift wrap it for you too if you wait right there. You may be young, but you really got this merchant thing down. One thing's for sure. I'm not gonna make the mistake of calling you plain ol' Anna again. Hey, you're Lapis, right? I've been looking all over for you. I hear you're a whiz at making neat stuff out of whatever's lying around. Um, yes. That's me. Yes! I smell profit to be made. The name's Lady Anna. I'm a merchant who's just as good at cutting wood as cutting costs. Oh, uh, all right. It's a pleasure to meet you, Anna. Aw, oh, you don't have to be so formal. Lady Anna is fine. Bottom line, Lapis, we should be in business together. <laughs> I'm not sure I follow. Oh, well, there's nothing to it. You'll be in charge of supplying cute goods, and I'll drum up demand. Boom! We make a killing. I'm happy, you're happy, the customer's happy. Win, win, win. As labor, you'll get your share, of course. Uh, come on, please. Oh, don't make a little girl cry. Let's slow down a bit here. What sort of things would you want me to make? Well, I'm from Wintertide Village, so something related to that would be nice. I see. So you'd want something that reminds people of your hometown. You're the idea.
ideas department. Once you have a product, I'll work my sales and marketing magic. Um, sure. <laughs> okay. What, you don't believe me? You think I can't close a sale just because I'm a little kid? I'll give you a guarantee. If I can't sell whatever you make, I'll give you one billion gold. It's a can't-lose proposition. All right. I'll try to think of something to make. So, Leute, ich habe jetzt noch ein paar Bandgespräche bzw. Unterstützungsgespräche noch dazwischen gepackt am Ende, damit wir die Liste da noch ein bisschen leerer kriegen. Ich habe noch ultra viele. Ich werde wirklich jetzt demnächst bei den nächsten Folgen, glaube ich, wirklich immer so ein paar Unterstützungsgespräche einfügen. Die werde ich dann im Voraus aufnehmen, äh, damit die auch nie irgendwo behindern. Ich mache übrigens jetzt auch so, dass ich das Nachgebiet nach dem Kampf auch ab sofort rausschneide, weil da passiert eigentlich nicht wirklich was Interessantes. Nur wenn äh, wirklich ganz spezielle Gespräche da sind, dann schneide ich sie rein. Aber ansonsten schneide ich die raus. Ansonsten, wenn es euch gefallen hat heute, lasst ein Abo und ein Like da und wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal wieder. Tschüss!